Welcome to MEI, Modeling with Algorithms. We're on the topic Linear Programming 2, Simplex Method, and this is video 2.6, using Lindo to solve a linear programming problem. Now, once again, we'll just point out that we can do Simplex by hand, but even for small problems, it takes quite a long time. Uh, in the real world, we're likely to be dealing with much larger problems, uh, and so we're really going to need to use technology if we're going to do that in practice. We've seen two different linear um, programming solvers already, and the final one we're going to see is a program called Lindo. If you want to get your hands on Lindo, there's a free demo version, and it's sufficient for what we're going to be doing. And you can find that by putting this web address into your browser. Now, basically, in terms of using Lindo, it's quite uh, straightforward. You you more or less type in exactly what you would write down when you're formulating a linear programming problem. Um, there are full instructions in the manual and you can find the manual here if you uh, type that into your browser. Uh, the manual is long but for what we are going to be doing you'd only need to read a, a short amount at the beginning. Alright so um, you can do that if you need to. And so this is how we would enter this linear programming problem. So it's we actually type the word maximize and we type in the expression that we want to maximize. We don't need to put the p equals. Um, and then we put subject to and then we type in those those linear constraints. Uh, and once you've done that and you've run the program, it will give you um, this output. So that's the final value of the objective function. These are the values of your three variables, x, y, and z. And if you're interested in slack variables, these are the final values of those slack variables. And that's all you really need to, to look at in that report. Now, if you want to restrain these variables to just be integers, then you need to do this. Um, you need to make sure you put in the word end after what you've typed so far. And then you type the words uh, G in X, same for Y and the same for Z. And apart from that, everything's exactly the same. And that gives you the following output. Um, so again, you've got the value of the objective function. It's now an integer. And you have the values of X, Y, and Z, uh, which are now, of course, integers. And you have the slack variables as well. So that concludes video 2.6, using Lindo to solve a linear programming problem, and it concludes the topic of linear programming to simplex method.